What's up guys, it's Caitlin Cool, and today I'm gonna to show you how I transformed this picture into this. So I was at a Stephen Neal concert and I shot everything in RAW. So RAW is great because you can really manipulate, manipulate your photos in post-production and that is exactly what we're gonna do here. Another thing when shooting concerts, I always shoot in um, auto white balance because of all the crazy lighting setups, you never know what you're gonna get. And I know that if I shoot in RAW, I can go back in post-production and really manipulate the photo how I want it to look. All right, first things first, we gotta get rid of this super harsh green that's covering our entire photo. Um, so we're gonna take one of my favorite tools, the white balance selector over here. And we're gonna drag it over to our photo and we're gonna kinda hover over. And if you notice actually, in the left top hand corner here, it will show you a preview of if you were to click on the photo, what it would look like. So you can see as I hover around the different selections up in that top left hand corner. I always try to find a white spot in the photo because I know that will give me the best result. So I think that is gonna be his elbow and you can already notice the entirely dramatic difference. And that was a great, great base for to start our color corrections. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a couple basic corrections that I do in almost all my photos and that is increasing the clarity and decreasing the blacks for some nice added contrast to really make that picture pop. All right, so after I get my basic corrections done, I'm gonna go and play with my hues and my different colors and my highlights and shadows. Um, I'm kind of going for more like a, a bluer, orangier kind of feel for the overall photo. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys my screen. I'm literally just gonna play with these colors and see what I think looks best and go from there. So I'm just gonna show you my screen while I edit and play around with this. So once I have my basic color corrections done in Lightroom and I feel like I have a pretty good base on this picture, I'm going to import it into Photoshop. 
so I can do a couple other color corrections and take it a step further. So I'm going to go down to the bottom here and I'm going to click an adjustment layer. I'm going to choose color lookup and from here on out I'm just going to you know randomly select some of these layers and see what I think looks good on my picture and whatever way I can do to enhance it even more. So for my personal taste I really love this offset kind of matte look on all my stuff. I think it's a little strong so I'm going to decrease the opacity. Um, still got that look but it's just not as strong so I'm going to add another layer and um, just kind of experiment and see what looks good. It's all about trial and error, so just continue to play with those adjustment layers and those color lookups and with those blend modes as well until you feel like you have the best result for your final product. So I'm noticing a little bit of grain in this blue area, so I'm going to use my black paintbrush tool here in Photoshop, give it a nice soft edge, and I'm going to kind of paint over this a little bit to make that grain not as noticeable. It's kind of really picky, but I just want it to be the best that it can possibly be, so um, I'm going to hit that on soft light so it blends nicely with the picture, and then um, I don't want his face to be affected by that, so I'm going to erase um, where that brush landed on his face so his face is still bright and the focal point of the photo. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to any of my social media. Instagram is at KMC20 and my Twitter is at Caitlin M. Cole. Thanks guys and have a great day.